man. What can I say? Like, the world's got tech, and stuff's happening with it. So, you, like, you need a show to keep you up to date with what stuff's happening with the tech news. It's a show about tech news. A few months ago, reports emerged about a new operating system Google was working on called Fuchsia OS, and now images and video of that OS have also emerged. Fuchsia runs on a custom Google-built kernel called Magenta rather than being based off Linux like Android and Chrome OS are. The build of Fuchsia OS that leaked uses a user interface called Armadillo, which features a card-based design that appears to allow dragging of different cards around the screen for a multi-window type of experience. The interface is also built on the Flutter SDK, a cross-platform tool, which means anyone can grab the code right now and try to run it themselves. It's still not clear whether Google is intending Fuchsia OS to replace Android, Chrome OS, or both, or neither. And that bothers me. Please clear this up when you can, Google. Microsoft today revealed their answer to the Google Home and Amazon Echo. The company partnered with German audio experts Harman Kardon to create Invoke. The Invoke? Just Invoke? Not sure how to use that. Invoke will obviously be powered by Microsoft's AI assistant Cortana and will likely carry out limited voice commands much like its competitors. Unlike those other cylindrical fixtures though, Invoke will have integrated Skype calling so you can call your friends by saying, I invoke the spirit of Greg. Come forth, distant traveler. Or at least that's how I think it should work. Anyways, Invoke is slated to release sometime this fall and that's all we know. Ryzen users, rejoice! Do it! AMD has released a new microcode that will expand the chip's memory compatibility. At launch, some users quickly discovered that Ryzen was at times being bottlenecked by RAM speed, in addition to having compatibility issues with certain memory modules. The new AGESA microcode should make Ryzen processors run better with higher clocked memory modules, as well as add support for 20 new high-end memory kits. And that's something for all PC lovers to celebrate. Cheers. It's time for... Quick weeks! Quick weeks. Ha, uh, quick weeks. Very satisfying. Thanks for the clip, Ken. If you want to send me a quick bits clip, quick bits clip, that's right. Hashtag quick bits is just the ticket. Radeon RX Vega leaks are coming hard and fast now, but it looks like they may come to a head on May 16th, as new reports claim that's when AMD will officially reveal the GPU. Previous rumors point to the card having 8 gigabytes of HBM2 memory and three different configurations to compete with the GTX 1070 and 1080. But who knows? Only AMD. That's who. Microsoft has thrown cold water on rumors of a Surface Pro 5, saying the product does not exist, but it will when the company feels it can make a meaningful impact on the market. This means it's likely we'll see just a Surface Pro 4 refresh at Microsoft's event later this month, which is fine, I guess. After running their closed beta, Bethesda will give Quake Champions an open beta where anyone can try the game from May 12th to 21st. So you can see for yourself just how much Overwatch they've added to the base game. Spoiler, the internet probably thinks it's too much. If you're a Mac user and you downloaded Handbrake last week, you might have downloaded password stealing malware along with it. So make sure you hit the news sources below to find out how to get rid of that sucker. And I had never heard of this before today, but apparently Apple is working on both an iPhone 7S and and an iPhone X, or 10, which new reports say are slated for release this October. Is this gonna be when Apple stops at X slash 10 and then names their phones after cats? Because I'm ready for that. iPhone 10, Manx. It's nice. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. If Jedars are cool, then why don't they have RGB lightsabers? Speaking of, this isn't actually a lightsaber, it's like a Disney toy. Because, I mean, well, the answer to that is I could say something mean about RGB stuff right now, but I won't because... Thanks, Dracion. The rest of you, hashtag NCIXYodog if you want us to say something on Netlinked. Hey, you. Yeah. I bet you subscribe to stuff all the time. But you know all that other stuff you subscribe to? What does it really give you? I'll tell you what it doesn't give you. A chance to win a new prize every month. So why don't you subscribe to something like the NCIX newsletter? It'll enter you to win a TP-Link Archer C3150 wireless router, and that's just this month. That's a thing, that's a thing that can give you internet from the wall. Very exciting. Plus, subscribing will let you know about all the crazy deals NCIX has on. Holy cow! 
And if you're already subscribed, just claim your newsletter points to enter. It's simple and awesome. Click the eye in the corner or the link in the description for details. And with that, this Nettling Daily is officially over. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans of benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. These are gonna be, this is gonna be new standard part of the outro is like doing these hand movements. New videos, Twitter, comments. I'm out of here.